What's your name and what got you into ghostwriting? Matthew Brown. So I started a mortgage company when I was in college and I ran that for two and a half, three years and the interest rates just shot up and I was looking for a way out. I also just hated doing what I was doing. Loved writing and I'd seen people blowing up on Twitter and decided, you know what, I'm, I'm a pretty good writer. Like I wanna test my hand at this. So I actually started writing for a different ghost writing agency first, just freelancing. And then two months after that, took my first client. So I'd followed you and Dickie for quite some time. And I'd actually never joined your first program because I was already writing online. And when you guys put out an email saying that you're gonna release something ghostwriting related, there's nothing out there in the space. And I was clueless as, as to what it could look like, uh, what the mistakes are, and thought this would be a no brainer to download the lessons that you've learned building a ghostwriting agency in the past. What's the biggest thing you've learned since joining PGA? You can just avoid so many mistakes. I've, I've made some of these mistakes, but I've avoided so many more because I've had access to somebody who's built a ghostwriting agency. Your whole curriculum kind of lays out what some of those mistakes can be. And so I've just gotten to where I am without a lot of the same pain that you had to go through, which I'm very thankful for. How much revenue were you doing in the beginning and how much are you doing now? Back when I started, 2,500, five grand, six grand. Right now, the last four months I've averaged $40,000. I'd attribute a, a large portion of it to PGA. <laughs> and if you wanna become a ghostwriter too, click the link below, we'll teach you everything you need to know.